Uh, Cowboys lost to the Browns. The NFC East is the worst division I've seen in years, maybe even like decades. Bro. The Eagles won their first game this season a quarter of the way through the season and they're first in the division. Let's go. I mean, congratulations, Let's but go. holy shit. But, I mean, this happens every <laughs> year, bro, so it's okay. Yeah. Like, it's okay. It was funny. Whoever – it was, like, one of the commentators. I think it was for Sunday Night Football. Um, it wasn't – it wasn't uh, Chris Collinsworth. It was the other dude. He was saying that, like, he didn't foresee <laughs> the East sending a wild card team either. So, he was like, I- I'm pretty sure we're probably only going to get one team out of this division this year, and one of them's going to get a home game. So, <laughs> you know – Whoever wins it is in, but, like, that's probably it. Let's be honest. Bro, how crazy was that comeback, though, by Dallas? Like, Not honestly. crazy at all. So, I thought it was crazy. What I thought was crazier, though, it is... It was all garbage. What I thought was crazier is then Odell then has that run back. Yeah, the 50-yard the the score. They block the field goal that ends up being an extra, like, a two-point two conversion. Yeah, instead it, of really, like, it, it really kind of fucked was, everything up, which is pretty it bananas, did. to it be was, honest. <laughs> That shit was it's pretty, true, man. It was they, they really, they really fucked everything up with that. Now, I mean, they were still down by two scores, you know, a two point conversion and, and a field goal away. But then, I mean, they, it was over. Like after yeah, Odell scored that point, weird. like all their momentum was gone. Like that was it. It, it made it weird. I agree. Um, I mean, they had one hell of a comeback. The Browns definitely mismanaged their lead. Um, but I mean, they fortunately for them, they already put up forty one forty one. So it didn't matter. Forty one to fourteen. It was forty one to fourteen, and then and then oh they got that extra gosh, score that bro. put them up to forty nine to fourteen. Like see, so, so no, forty two, forty two. In, in those cases, oh, no, no, forty one. Yeah, because they scored the eight. Yeah. Like in those cases, do you kind of get mad at the offense and say at least get us like a field goal here and there if you put up forty one? Well, so here's the thing, right? Here's the, the thing, right? The Cowboys, the Cowboys lost because like they threw the pick at the end, right? They still needed the field goal anyways, and it was really funny actually. The, like right before the play happened, when Dak Prescott through that pick at the end i said they're taking too long they should have kicked a field goal like three plays ago when they were in field goal range right because he, so here's the thing right when you're when you're when you're dealing with like clock management you right. need that field goal anyways so just kick the field goal you've got the points and you got to score a touchdown anyways but if you get the ball back you control the clock but do people believe and, and, in their their kickers like that oh it wasn't they were already in field goal range, like well within like they were at like the 20 when he threw the pick we, I mean, we've seen well, true, but we've seen them. Well, miss, Legatron miss just miss, so. delivered for them last week with the onside kick and the game-winning field oh, goal. Man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I would say some like I can understand where you're coming from with some teams, but I think that, Legatron already proved right. himself. Yeah, like yeah. he can do that. So I think it was just extreme mismanagement. I think Mike McCarthy shit the bet on it, man. I think they should have kicked the field goal early. They wouldn't have thrown the pick, and then at that point, it would have been in Legatron, Legatron's arms. You know, click the, kick the onside kick and hope you get lucky. That's all you can do. Right. Instead, you know, they continue to try to score early, which is fucking stupid. And Dak Prescott throws a pick. Like, what else are you going to do? And everyone wants to hype up Dak Prescott. I want to remind everybody that he threw all those touchdowns and yards when he was down by over 30 points. I mean, and none bro, of it fucking matters. So people are telling me that, and I get that, that it does not matter. But no, at the same the, the time, the Browns bro, allowed them to score all those points. Bro. But Dex. no, like I said, though, they didn't do their job on offense, and they didn't right. kill any clock. And that's why Dallas was able to score all the points that they did. But yeah, at the insane. end of the day, I mean, and, and also Dak Prescott threw the pick. His stats do look crazy, though. They look insane, year. but like they're they're fake, though. They're fake points. <sighs> Think about when they beat Atlanta, dude. They were down by, like, over 20 points in the fourth quarter. So Dak was able to just throw it the whole fucking time. That's true, but, dude. Uh, and, like, they ended up man. winning, but it wasn't because of Dak. It was because the Falcons choked. That's insane. Like, let's not forget that the Dallas Cowboys should be 0-4 right now. Uh, that's what I'm Fighting saying, for bro. T- Dude. That's what I'm saying, The Texans bro. would draft T-Law. They'd send Dak on his way real quick for T-Law. Who, Dallas? Shut yeah. <laughs> No more controversy. We'll go ahead and send you the fuck out. We'll get T-Law on a rookie deal, and we'll have him throw to CeeDee Lamb and fucking right. Amari Cooper. Are you or shitting we, me? Or we could even have him back. Pair him up with Ezekiel Elliott? <laughs> we could also Bruh. have him uh, back Andy Dalton. I mean, right. they only have Andy Dalton right. for this year, but they can bring Andy him. Dalton back for another re-sign year. Resign him for like a three-year deal, T-Law. give him a veteran's minimum, yep. and let him do his thing. And let T. Law chill up under him, and then boom, pass right. up. And, and, oh. and you can't tell me Andy would not go in. With no, that team, <laughs> dude, and, dude, Andy Dalton would play better now. He played better than Dak now. I bro, I believe so. There was a simulation I watched that they put all the quarterbacks at running back, and then the backup quarterback was a quarterback. Uh-huh. Dallas was eleven and. Five <laughs> yep. with Andy Dalton at the quarterback. <laughs> yikes. Bro. Yeah, Big and yikes. that's Dak at running back, not even having Zeke. That's nuts. Bro, that, 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 that offense be, is already so potent. It'd be sick, dude. 